guys, welcome. Now, I'm here with a message. I didn't know I was going to be here, but there's a message and it's pertaining to the Two of Cups. Let's check it out. We've been working so hard at this Two of Cups to heal from hierarchy and really create equality. We understand that this is where it's at. We understand that this is the baseline for the patterning of New Earth. And it's the baseline for the patterning. The Vesica Pisces is the connection to the Two of Cups and as well as our twin soul. We know spirit moved and made a twin replica of itself on the second day of creation. And the Vesica Pisces is that formation of sacred geometry. And that is really the baseline for any patterning we're building. And we can really meditate on this. Spirit moved in the second day of creation and, re and created an exact, exact replica of itself. The Vesica Pisces. And that is the baseline foundation we need for creating shapes in sacred geometry. We need more than one. We need two. But the thing is, they're connected to the one, to the all. But they can also separate. But they're always, you know, they can come back together, separate, come back together, separate. And that's really what this twin flame path has been teaching all of us. And it makes sense now because we're going to go forward to a message of divine timing here. We're still active with the energies of the blue moon and new earth. And this is the feminine and masculine creating right now. This is how we've been repairing the connection, healing from hierarchy and creating this two of cups, working with Metatron's cube. It is the Hierophant and the queen of cups. And you can see right there, there's the cup. She's mesmerized by it right now, but she's also dissatisfied by it right now. The feminine is dissatisfied about something. It has to do with divine timing. And I really feel like the masculine has had all this spontaneous awakenings happen and is still like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck is going up? What's going down? What's going on? What's going around? And remember, feminine, you have masculine within you. Masculine, you have feminine within you. This is our repeat button. We're on here right now. Guys, okay, we're just always honoring this. And, you know knowing that some of us are at different spaces on the path. And what we're doing is we are connecting to the, to the information we need to connect to right now. And it has something to do with new earth and light codes, activations. And they were activated when we went through the 1111 gateway. We have to believe in this. What I, what I've been shown is we're not believing in this enough. It's like, now, many of us on the path, we've activated towards it and we've been, you know, finding information for some time, but we're not believing in something here. We're not believing in self. We're not believing in something. But La Luna's here today for a reminder. And this has got to be what why I'm here and why I've been called to share this message. And it has something to do with our rebirths and our spiritual quest. And for many of us, it has to do with the fertility of new earth life and what we're doing on our spiritual quest in separation. And it is connected to La Luna and remembering that she has a promise for us. She's helping us to do all this work, to connect, to unite, to find our authentic patterning, to create with the patterning of us, to do all this expansional work, to work with our heart, to understand that our heart's electromagnetic field is more powerful than our minds but they're both connected they're both connected and we need it all it's not like we're just we're gonna stop separating ourselves and just thinking we just need this or we just need that or maybe we just need these three things we're gonna use it all to get to where we're going and that is part of our multi-dimensionality and that's healing from everything you know it's like you'll hear a light worker post and we've seen these before. They've been done very negative. A lot of them say, you know, oh, you know, you new agers, you're just going to do wear your yoga pants, be all sparkly and happy. And, you know, you haven't accepted your dark. We've talked about this here before. I'm using nicer words, right? And it's not really like that. It's like, yeah, we have accepted our dark. We have accepted we're working with our ego. We have accepted that, you know what, we 
we're healing with our ego in order so that we can use our instincts. It's not like we're just going to remove parts of ourself that we need that are part of us. And then we're just going to, you know, go off and we're just going to be Jesus or Buddha. That's not what this is about. We're self and we're honoring self and we're honoring our uniqueness, our eccentricities. And that's what new earth is all about. It's honoring all of self and it's using the dark and using the light to get to where we're going and to have a balance through self to understand patterning, but it's being able to have the balance and it's being able to heal from our shadows. It's being able to heal from our pain. It's being able to heal, heal from our core wounding, from patterning that's not allowing us to be in unity and create with life and connect to our divine inheritance and abundance abundance and uh, it's untwisting things it's understanding that there's you know the bug the matrix the blip that has making us want to continue to create with a patterning that is disconnected from source from mother earth and from life in order for us to continue destroying ourselves so we, we feed into what we don't want to feed into we're not food for lower vibrational entities any longer we're going up, we're going on, and we're moving forth into new earth. And this has to do with the Six of Cups purification that has been offered during this time. And this, we know that La Luna said she was going to keep her promise to keep us on target. But we had to keep our promise of allowing the full cycle. And the full cycle of the moon is connected to Scorpio and Scorpio season and the cycle of of Scorpio and what we're being offered here and we're being offered a purification from nostalgia lane we're not going to live in nostalgia lane yeah we're gonna create from that space because we're always connected to the past we're always connected to the future but it's through the present moment and we're going to honor this now we're going to honor this more than ever and it's connected to divine timing this is what I've been shown and we are going to surrender to divine timing. La Luna is going to teach us something about this. It's going to be illuminated for us. And she's doing it with love and care. And much love and tender care. And what they're showing me is a lot of this is happening through dream time. A lot of what is going on right now is happening through dream time. And right now it's connected to a wake up call. La Luna is giving us a wake up call. And look, it's through tsunami. So this is the water energies are, what is a tsunami, guys? But this is going to help us to heal, to break up energies that we need to break up to create a new with. And look, there's there has some sort of connection here to La Luna and seeing what we need to see when we purify the water energies and our emotions. And it has to do with our ancestors' generations and our ancestral healing Cleansing our karma, the ancestral wounds we came in here to heal and move forth with. And we are doing it. What they're showing me is we're doing this. We're working with this. And this is why we have to really honor divine timing right now, guys. We have to understand that what we're doing, this cleansing we're doing, it's massive. This is not just like, you know, I'm going to go and I want to drop five pounds. So I'm going to do all these things and I'll check back in a week. This is like, you know what, I'm shape-shifting into a whole new person and I'm going to be healthy and I'm going to be transformed and I'm going to heal from my ancestors, my generational wounding, the, my family lineage and the patterning that is held within my DNA. And we carry, you know, 14 generations of DNA active within us that we're healing from the past in order to cleanse old earth and create a new into the golden ages. We're not just walking there. This is a massive shift that we came here to be a part of. And guys, we got to start, we can't get like all depressed in that. We got to start getting lost in the wonder. We got to start getting lost in the fun. So we're making up, we're making up from the three of swords situation. And remember, we just got a message from the swan on our new moon in Scorpio reading. And I do believe the feminine was working with it. I'm going to have to all put what part it is when I find. Okay, so she's dealing with her heartache through the message that's connected to Swan. I'm trying so deeply. Oh, it is was the Queen of Cups 
in the wild unknown tarot and we received that message and i believe it was part two it was after channeled messages and what we're doing is the queen of cups confirmed right here is allowing us to move forward and we're going to look up they're showing me that the masculine and the feminine are connecting even if we can't see it this connection is healing and we're going to stop looking down and not wanting to create here we're going to start looking up and we're going to start looking up to the heavens and we're going to want to move forward we're going to want to create and what this is going to allow us to do is we're going to start being able to officially heal from the patterning of new earth and we're going to begin to feel nurtured but we're going to feel nurtured through the energy of the opposites we're going to heal and see that all of this negative that we had to go through all of this experience in order to be here, in order to raise our vibration, in order to create a new, that all of this lack of was a part of our understanding that we, that we're not in lack of. We had to see something. We had to see the negative in order to see the positive and it's breaking open. Look, we're seeing it. Remember how I said, they're showing we're not gonna look down anymore. We're looking up, but we're see we've seen the crack. We've seen it behind the veil and we're going behind the veil. And this means we've healed from the bug of the matrix and we're about to go within here. And we're reconnecting to the coding and patterning of the divine, of source energy, of the creator. And this is allowing us to understand that we're working with the feminine and this connection has been repaired. And she is now having her rightful place honored. This is healing from Two of Cups, guys. This is healing from hierarchy right here. Honoring the feminine. And this isn't like honoring the feminine in the templates of old earth. We can't get this twisted. This isn't like the Queen of England here. This ain't that kind of energy, guys. Don't get it twisted. This is something different. Please meditate on this if you're feeling confusion. Meditate on this. Get your answers from source. They will help you to receive what this means. And I am sending you all the vibes that I can for anyone that is going through any confusion that this is coming clear to you what this really means. How we're honoring the feminine here in New Earth to heal from hierarchy and move forth with our equality. The feminine is a back in her rightful place within the two of cups and this is beautiful and it's because we've been working with the actual coding of god source energy the universe mother earth and understanding it's a higher power bigger than us us that's uniting us but they've shown me that this higher power bigger than us that's uniting us the masculine is on board remember the masculine now is officially on board the masculine is like now um, putting, putting like bowing down, but bowing down in a humble way, saying, you know what, turning to the, turning, turn, turning to the powers that are, you know, bigger than us to say, okay, I get it. I understand. You know what? I'm surrendering. There's a forgiveness here. There's a healing here. There's a nurturing here. There's a, no, there's a knowledge gain. There's an understanding. It's a knowledge, humbling, nurturing, expansional place of just transformation through a power that's bigger than the masculine right now and just understanding the connection to the feminine understanding who we are here understanding what we came here to do but they show me this is what's changed now that the feminine has been working with higher self and restoring wholeness through the masculine to to work with this two of cups equality and she went first and now the masculine is working with the feminine to restore the two of cups equality so we are equal we're equal and even if we don't feel it guys we gotta allow the time in the 3d remember there's a there's a time delay here and this is connected to the hangman and when we first received the hangman within this deck it was the feminine and look Rapunzel, remember? Look, she's putting down her golden hair so he can connect with her. But what they showed me now, it's been reversed. The feminine is now here. And the masculine is going without to connect with her. And now they, then they showed me a bunch of cards that they didn't let me look at and said we're going to receive them together. 
let's see what they are but they did let me see the last card in the sequence so we're going forth to the ace of wands which is home new earth and it's through metamorphosis but it's healing and it, we're acting on this healing through our passions how we act through our force we're healing that and that's what Taurus is here to see. We know Venus, Venus was hanging out with us as well. Uh, new moon reading. La Luna was MIA, but Venus was there. <laughs> King of Wands. Well, of course. He's going to help us act with the wand. And we know that the masculine is in his King of Wands right now. He is healing. And look at... Ooh, he looks pretty good right now. Of course, Ten of Cups as well. So, because we're feeling this vibe, we're feeling the vibe of what we're creating. We're creating in all these cups. It's beautiful. Because we're seeing through our illusions, through the Seven of Cups, and we're picking the rainbow. They're showing me. We're picking this. We've seen through our illusions, and we want this. We understand this space now. We get it. This is beautiful. Let's see what the last two cards are. Oh. So we are having wish fulfillment through the Three of Cups. And this is what our main message is about. And look, we're not drinking alone anymore. La Luna's come here to tell us we're not drinking alone anymore. We're going to celebrate together because we're healing from drinking from the cup with the devil. And we're working with Source. We're not going to go and pour ourself a glass of wine to feel the connection we're going to feel the connection naturally from all the work we've been doing here in channel messages and we're going to ask the cards what this means right now now the cards in uh whichever perspective decks are shuffled up in here and whichever decks we're not using, the cards from the channeled message are going to be here. And we're going to find out now what is happening between the Three of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Because it has to do with the alchemy of the cups and the purification connection to the two. And it has something to do with the hanged man. It has something to do with what's changed here in the hanged man and this Knight of Cups. And this Three of Pentacles within this perspective deck. We're healing from our three and we're healing from our three of swords. We're healing from our three of swords because it's just like I feel like like the message is we have so many three of swords now. We have so many three of swords, we're just healing from them. They built up and built up and built up and now we're being pressured. The cups, we're working with Venus. This has to do with Venus. And Pluto. It's on point. This is the purification of the cup during... Scorpio season from the five to the six and we're about to enter Sagittarius season. So we're going to hit our mark. We're going to hit our rain. We are going to add the positive to the negative situation because we're tired of feeling the extremes. Pluto is here to tell us we're tired of feeling the extremes and we're going to heal from the extremes of feeling separate. Through fire, through the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is going to take us home right now. The energy of fire is working with Venus. And it's Leo. And Leo is working with Mars. And Mars is healing with the water energies because it's connected to that penumbral lunar eclipse on the 30th in Gemini. 
Had a little interruption there, guys. Gemini is working with Aquarius, though. The energies of new earth. The energies we need to have access to. And this is about honoring our uniqueness right now. This, realistically, is the main message. What is happening here? Is that... We're connecting to how we're going to ground the patterning of fertility between the masculine and feminine now and what that's going to look like. It's being expanded and it's being expanded through the earth. We're, we're going to do the harder things because of Capricorn and our connection to you know, the devil energies and what is separate and what is easy, what is selfish, is here. We're going to do the harder things to create with Venus and the feminine to restore balance because we, we understand what we want to manifest here. We understand how we want to manifest here and we want to manifest healing. The water energies clear the, de the debris out of, they are the purification, out of the water, out of whatever it is, you know, you wash your hands, there it is, you, it's, you know, purified. Water helps to purify, it helps to cleanse. The, the feminine is here to help us cleanse. And what we're cleansing is our aggression. Our aggression, our competitiveness has wounded us, has, is connected to the, the Three of Swords, Five of Swords charge. And it's connected to what we're separate here. We had to temper with the masculine and we did so because Leo's here. And now what we're doing is we're using our passions and we're using our shine in order to create. In order to heal, in order to harmonize. We're okay leading, we're okay taking the way. And it's like Venus and Mars are, and Leo, are all uniting and working together. Here's the balance right here. Here's the masculine and feminine right here. And we know we've seen the patterning of the sky here at School for the Fool. Venus and Mars have been restoring balance with La Luna and the sun and the rest of the heavens. And what we're doing is something's coming together right here. And it's going to restore balance. Now, Gemini is connected to gathering as much information as possible. And it's a communicative sign. We're going to get, gather as much information as possible and we're going to communicate. But we're communicating through the unspoken languages of air. And what it is, is it's about we need to know something. And we don't actually 1000% know it, but there is the knowing here and we have access to the knowing. And that's connected to the feminine and the 13 spheres of knowledge. And Pluto is going to help us with what it is that we need to know and it's going to restore balance and what we need to know is connected to Pluto and this is what we will achieve and we will have expanded with Uranus and the moon and there it is Sagittarius where we're gonna hit our mark we're gonna hit our aim and it's connected to Scorpio And what's happening is the masculine is rising from their illusions, from the underworld. And that's the connection to Aries and Mars right here. The masculine is rising from the underworld in order to restore balance because the masculine went into the underworld in order to see 
the Two of Cups. Understand the Two of Cups. To begin creating the Two of Cups. And now it's happening. It's happened. Okay. Confirmation right there from the universe. And that horn right there. Pluto is associated with the Roman god who ruled the underworld. The Roman god Pluto. Pluto is small but carries a lot of important human experiences. Nothing less than life, death, rebirth, and sex. And these are all things that we are healing with the patterning with to expand and shift to new earth. We're healing with life by facing death. We're having a rebirth by facing death, by facing life, by facing everything in between. And we're healing from lust. We're understanding what sex means. This is connected to that two of cups. And what does it really mean? What do these connections really mean? You know, understanding like we're, we've been put in these spaces and places in solitude in order to create with the two of cups, connect to the patterning of God and understand this and, you know, move forth in this world, what feels like alone, but then understand our connection, you know, our where, how to go from being separate to united, how to be able to go in the box and then go in the sphere and go in the box and go in the sphere and be okay with it. Understand the connection everywhere. Not have it be so frightening. There's like a baseline of something here because we've correct we've connected to the proper coding. And tied in all these ideas are issues of power and control as well as finding personal freedom from confining mindsets. And there it is. That's what we're doing. That's everything we're doing. And we're going to restore balance through Libra. And we achieve it. And I'm feeling called to share this message. I balance. The disconcerting energy of air. We're working with air. Takes on the cardinal solve it quality and encourages identifying and solving problems. The key phrase I balance means that fairness, justice, and everyone getting along are the primary motivational drives in the, in the situation. Ask, how can I manifest a fair and stable balance? Ideals are beautiful and things are very good. And this is connected to that idea from the new moon. Uh, in Scorpio, we got on the messages from La Luna portion that we're going to be gifted an idea from air. And it's connected to what's happening here in order to come together within the void and communicate it through the unspoken languages and spoken, but what they're short sharing with me right now, it's mostly unspoken and to restore balance, but it's for everybody. And it's remember remembering that Libra is the ideals of the black and the white coming together, balanced, centered. Thank you for joining us for part one. There's going to be a link in the description down below for part two. See you there, everyone.